In this video, I'll show you how to do some simple real-time plotting using Q Custom Plot and Q Creator. Uh, so first, let's start a new project. Uh, we want to do a widgets application. Uh, let's go and put this the example code, and we will call it oh, sample code. And this project will be, we'll call it real time queued. Okay. Uh, using the standard NGW build, uh, we'll just use a main window application, that'll be fine. And here we go. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is go to my dot profile and we need to add print support there. Um, let's just build it, make sure everything's okay. There we go. Okay, here we go, got zoomed in. Um, now I need to go download uh, Q print support here or no, the Q custom plot. So let's go to Q custom plot. I want to download it. Um, I am just going to grab this version here. So I'll just download that. And then we will extract the files. And that should have put them down here. My downloads folder here is a mess. Uh, there's this. Extract files. And there's that. Q custom plot. And what I want are these. I'm going to copy those. And go to my desktop example code. Here's my project. And I'm going to paste them there. And then let's go back to our project and we want to add existing files Q custom plot dot H. We want to add existing files Q custom plot dot CPP. Okay. Now we have those all opened. Uh, we'll build things just to make sure it's running properly. Come on, come on. There it goes. Okay. So everything is good there. So now let's go to our main window header file. And we are going to add some functions here. Well, actually, let's go to our main window form first. Let's set up our UI. Uh, so what we want to do here is we want to have a Q custom plot and we want to have a couple of buttons. We want to add some points from, from this dialog. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a widget, drag a widget on there uh, to make this bigger. And we want to promote to Q custom plot. Add. And promote. And I'm going to come over here and I want to name this plot so that it has a descriptive name. Okay, we've got that. And then I want to add um, a double spin box and a double spin box and two buttons. Okay. 
got that. And then I want uh, a couple of labels here. Let's see where are the labels. There we go. There's one there. There's one there. So these are going to be my x and y coordinates. And these don't matter so much to have these perfect, but we'll just line them up a little bit there. And this is going to be the point to add a button, or the button to add a point. And this is going to be the button to clear the graph. And let's just come over here. I will name this BTN clear. We'll name this BTN add. We'll name this BX, the box X, or that's Y. And this one BX, X. Okay. There we go. Let's go back over to our header file now. And let's just build things, make sure we're in good shape. good to go. Now we need to add some functions to this header file um, to add points to the graph as we select them in the GUI. So we want to have of a void add point function which takes two doubles, a double x double y. Okay, and we're going to have a void clear data function so we can clear all the data and then we want to be able to plot the data. Okay, uh, and we also want to come down here and add a couple of q vectors and I forgot a semicolon there. So we want Q vector, both be doubles. Q vector X, Q vector Y. Okay. Now, let's go back to our UI. We need a slot that will be a function to to run when we click that button. We'll click go to, go to slot when it's clicked. Okay. And let's go back to our UI and this one, go to slot. Okay, so now we have these two functions for our buttons there also. Now, what we want to do next is go to our C++ plot, our C++ file. Hope we're already there. Um, and get things set up. So here we are, we're in the constructor for the main window, and I want to go to the plot, and I want to add a graph. And this graph is going to be number zero, it's the first graph we add. And then I want to go to the plot, and I want to go graph zero, and I want to set the scatter style, um, which is going to be the style of the points that are added. Uh, scatter style and we want to be a circle and then we'll go UI plot get the graph again and we want to set the line style and so there'll be a line connecting these plots so we go QCP graph. So this means there will be no line connecting these points. Okay. Now, go back over to the header real quick and let's add a definition and go back over here, add a definition. And go back here. And we'll add 
definition. Okay, now we have those set up. So to add a point, what we want to do is we want to go to our x vector and we want to append x. And then we want to take our y vector, append y. Okay, to clear the data, Well, hold on, let's come back to clear data here in a second. So then, to plot that, we want to get our plot and our graph. We want to set the data. We're going to give it our x data, qvx, and our y data, qvy. Okay? And then we want to go to the plot, we want to replot after we update the data. We want to go, we want to update the data also. Okay. Good deal. Okay. So, now when we click add, we want to run the plot function. First we want to add a point. So we're going to do add point and we need to give it the values that are in those two boxes we had in our in our uh, main window. So we'll do UI BXX. We want to get the value. Oops. And then UI BXY and get the value. Okay? And once we have those values added to our uh, vectors, then we want to plot. Okay. Now, that should take care of everything. So let's just test to make sure this is going to build. Make sure we don't have any errors here. And then, okay, so let's build that. And let's run that. And so let's add a point one one, add, there's your point. Let's add a point two two, add, there's your point. Let's add a point four one, add, there's your point. And so you can see that's adding everything. Now the clear button doesn't work yet. So let's go back and write in our clear data function. So this is going to be very easy. So we're going to go QVX. We're going to clear it. QVY. We're going to clear that vector. Um, and then when we click on the button, we want to clear the data. And then we want to plot those data. If there are no data, then it should just plot an empty vector on there. Let's build that. Let's run it. And let's see what we get here. Four, seven. Open, I plotted it off the chart. You can see part of that one up there. So you can see those points popping up. Now you click clear and they disappear. So there's how you can do some real-time plotting. It's easy enough to connect these up to signals and slots or to run this as a function if you're generating data internally. Um, but there's just kind of a quick rundown of how you can do this in real time. Thanks for watching.